when you're getting ready for a freeze or a hard freeze, here's one thing that you probably forgot. I actually forgot myself. A good friend of mine, Martin Lassoff with uh, Gardens of Light in Houston, Texas, um, brought this up and it's something that I asked, asked a few questions and uh, got some, uh, some good feedback from him. So anyways, uh, don't forget to do this. It's regarding your sprinkler system. Uh, I'm going to show you a close up here in a second, but this is what you want to locate first. You want to locate the vacuum breaker. It's usually on the side of the house and it's a metal housing. It has a bell on top. This is a vacuum breaker. It has two pipes that come up underneath, usually from the ground up. They're usually insulated, which is okay. We'll talk about that in a second. But the housing itself is not insulated, and you could just wrap the thing in a blanket and take your chances. The problem is there's a diaphragm inside, and when that water freezes, it expands, and it, there's some siphoning or bleeder valves on the side that we're going to open up and prepare for the freeze. But this is one thing do not forget. If you leave it alone and it actually expands, it'll damage the diaphragm. And then when it warms up and the freeze is gone and the water thaws, it'll actually come out and just pour out. You might not know it, especially if you're out of town. So I'm going to give you a close-up in a second of what we're going to do here to uh, prepare for that. Okay, again, the first thing to look for is the vacuum breaker. This is a typical setup. This is what they look like. I'll pan out for a second so you can see the two pipes that come out from the ground or up from the ground. Okay, so again, once you've located this vacuum breaker, I'm going to zoom in a second and show you the direction of flow, which actually, if you can see it here, this arrow points this direction. This means the flow is going from the ground through the vacuum breaker, and this is going to the irrigation valves or through the yard for the sprinkler heads. Again, two valves here. If you've located the arrow or you know the direction of flow, which is, again, this way, then this is the valve we're going to turn off. Okay, This is the water going into the vacuum breaker. This valve you want to leave on, obviously, because this is going to the actual sprinkler heads and it's void of any water at this point. So again, we're going to turn this valve off. And as soon as you do that, you're going to locate these two siphon valves or bleeder valves. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. Again, at this angle, you can probably see the arrow a little bit better. This is the direction of flow. We have this valve turned off, the bottom one. This will leave on two caps if they're on go ahead and remove them these valves are actually open and the way I know that the actual screw head if it's a flathead is going with the direction of flow that means they're open so these siphon valves at this point the bleeder valves are open and there's air coming out of the vacuum breaker these are the two siphon valves and the other shot that we had and this is an inside view of the actual valve and I'm going to show you how you can confirm that it's open or closed I'm going to go ahead and turn this now. See the valve? Again, that's closed. And the way you, what you can tell if it's open again is you can actually see it open. You can see into the piping. Again, once we've confirmed that these two siphon valves or bleeder valves are open, once we've done that, go ahead and if you have these caps, it's fine if you don't. But if you do have them, go ahead and put them on. The reason we're doing that is because if they're going to stay open for two or three days during a freeze, then debris can get in there, insects, and we just don't want anything to go inside. Don't forget when you go to power this back on or turn the water back on that you close the valves first. You want to look inside, make sure they're closed, or just turn them up and down. Again, that's off, that's on, or open.